guys, Ivan here and welcome to this video. So this is 2021 Mercedes-AMG GLE 63S Formatic Plus and this is the coupe version. We have also the SUV uh, variant in offer. Alright guys, and before you start, if you haven't yet, then subscribe, hit the notification bell and enable notifications so you are notified for all new videos. And if you like this video, give this a like and comment down below what's your favorite feature of this car or if you prefer a different AMG model. And as you can see, this is in beautiful Designo diamond white bright paint, which is really nice white paint. Here you can see the price and spec sheet of this car. This has AMG Ultimate package. And from the rear we can see new design of the tail lamps with new graphics and also this car features night package. So the exhaust tips are in high gloss black and also the window trim. We will also take a look at the wheels. They are also in matte black. And as you can see 63S on the boot. So this is the top engine variant. So this is the side view of this car, how it looks, its shape. And we can see here the front with really large grille. So you can see this really sharp front end. And overall appearance of this car is really muscular. And yeah, I think it's a great design with the coupe. Much more sporty than the SUV. Also, the wheelbase is 6 centimeters shorter or a little bit more than 2 inches. And this gives the GLE Coupe more sporty characteristics when you are driving. So definitely if you prefer driving dynamics, then go for the coupe. And also it's modern, much more modern looking, more uh, athletic, aesthetic. So I would say this is more suitable for these people which like this kind of design. They like to be in trend and fashionable. So you can see really huge bumper. It's even bigger on the 63 than on the 53. And also guys, let me know if you want to see direct comparison side to side 53 and 63S because uh, I want to show you the differences. You can see openings on the each side of the front bumper and the front bumper has like jet wing design in A shape and the middle part is blacked out because of the night package as well. And you can see here daylight running stripes for multi-beam LED headlights and also in the middle Mercedes badge which is encircled in another circle. So this looks really great. Behind the badge there are radars for adaptive cruise control, Distronic and Distronic Plus. And you can see the badge is flash. So that means that behind it there are radars. And the Gilly Coupe is also the largest SUV coupe in offer at Mercedes-Benz and also the Mercedes-AMG. We have also GLC Coupe, but that one is much smaller. So let me know what you think about this design. I think it looks really aggressive and sporty and absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Really great design. Now we can take a look at the wheels and brakes. And these wheels are cross-spoke forged AMG wheels and we have also red brake calipers with ventilated brake disc as you can see here for better stopping power. We have also very nice design, this center lock cap. So these are matte black wheels with a uh, chrome-like around them and you can see here AMG air suspension which is adjustable. We have Yokohama tires, Edwin Sport and 285 40 22 inch at the front. We have V8 Biturbo Formatic Plus on the front fender so you can see which engine is in this car and we have also this side step with rubber so it's not slippery and we can check out also rear wheel tire size so those are 325 35 also 22 inch so they are wider at the rear for better traction and you can see how much they are sticking out of the rear so the stance on this car is really really great so the Zinio diamond white paint as you can see has a pearlescent effect and this paint is the most expensive white paint and we have also polar white which is non-metallic I would say like a pure white so if you prefer that then polar white would be better option for you we can see AMG engraving on the exhaust and also on the exhaust inside 
and you can see their AMG logos also on the exhaust and above the exhaust the black line above the diffuser is also blacked out because of the night package and you can see also diffuser in between the exhaust pipes and you can see also blacked out window trim because of the night package this is black AMG key fob specific for the AMGs so now we can open door release the catch which holds the hood the bonnet and we can check out the engine bay and then we will go to see the interior so this is 4.0 liter v8 by turbo engine handcrafted in falterbach in the factory in germany and then the engine is shipped and then is installed in this car at the plant where this car is manufactured and here you can see who handcrafted this particular engine and in a Falterbach one man makes and built one engine so this particular engine develops 450 kilowatts in the S variant 420 in non S variant and that's 612 horsepower in the S variant 850 newton meters of torque and that's 627 pound feet of torque so this car can sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in only 3.8 seconds and the top speed is electronically limited to 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour and this VA engine is the first and the AMG which is coupled with ISG internet starter generator which provides additional thrust but also recuperates in a modern 48 volt onboard power supply system so this gives car a really fast reaction and even eliminates the very small turbo lag which this car had before this engine is also coupled with AMG speed shift TCT 9G transmission which is 9 speed automatic torque converter this transmission provides short shift times double the clutching function and downshifting depending on the selected driving mode and it's very fast and also really smooth so now let's open the door and check out this beautiful interior so you can see ambient lighting here and Burmeister high-end surround system this is also carbon fiber decor and this interior is in AMG black Nappa leather with Dynamica so you can see the combination on the seats with AMG emblem and these seats are really comfortable but also supportive and you can customize them and you can see how many speakers this car has with surround system on the roof there are speakers and also in the middle between the passengers on the ceiling in each door you have three speakers so this is really really great also guys we have a soft close all right guys so let's check out the interior together so as you can see we have the carbon trim here black AMG Napa leather and this AMG performance steering wheel which is uh, covered in Nappa leather and this also can be in carbon and in the Dynamica which is like Alcantara material okay so we have two 12.25 inch screens and as you can see they have beautiful graphics so here we can see these beautiful seats so this is combination of AMG Nappa leather which is here also perforated for uh, ventilation of the seats and we have here Dynamica which is like an Alcantara material and AMG badge here so the leather is superior in this car very good quality excellent quality we have also these handles in the middle which are also illuminated so in the center console we have this trackpad which you control the display with you can also control it here on the steering wheel or also by voice so in terms of the ambient lights this is how it looks without the lights 
so it's really nice but the ambient lights bring the whole new atmosphere uh, to this car so we need to go here into the settings and bring the brightness to 100 percent okay so we have single colors 64 uh, different colors as you can see here on this wheel this display is also touch screen so you can operate it by touch but personally uh, I prefer to control it here with this trackpad. It is very, very nice and really comfortable to use it like that. So we have ocean blue and several other colors. Purple sky. Also, the Burmester speaker here in the A pillar in the door is uh, illuminated. So how fantastic is this? Also here these door cards and yeah it's really really beautiful red moon is combination of pink and blue you can see it here also in the fit area for the passengers as you can see this is also changing the light because i have the multicolor animation on so here on the steering wheel i can change this uh, whole screen setup into the different menus so now we are in super sport you can be also in classic so classic is like a blue team with classic two instrument clusters on the display and here you can customize each cluster depending what you like so you can have here data about the tire temperature boost kilowatts newton meters uh, information about the engine gearbox and everything basically g-force and in the middle you can also change, we have also navigation, so the middle you can also change here on the steering wheel. And the left one you can also customize, you can see here these dots, so you can see how many options you have there. It's uh, really, really beautiful, it's like a telemetry in the car. So here we have the sport. This is similar to the classic but is in the you can see like a green gray blue uh, tints so it's a little bit more uh, in different colors and also the contrast color is uh, yellow here so that's a difference and the super sport is altogether different that was uh, one with the center dial but you can also customize it so for example my settings from different classic and sport transport uh, also were also set here so you can see ref counter and i have navigation here on this side so you can change it the same way but it looks different and if you drive you can see building up the speed and refs on this side for me this is the best mode for the gle coupe for the AMG variant see here building up the refs in this way and also here we can see temperature of the gearbox and engine oil and here we have a temperature and pressure of the tires so the C means that we are in comfort mode you can change driving modes here with the toggle in the middle which is called dynamic select so you can select we need to turn on the ignition so you start with the terrain mode with off-road modes so we have sand mode and you can see here how it changes so uh, different settings for the engine transmission and stability control everything basically suspension then we have a trail mode slippery mode is for winter individual you can customize it in any way as you like comfort mode is the standard mode in which the car starts then we have sport mode sport plus and race mode is the most aggressive of them all and is the most uh, sporty setting for this vehicle so you can see how beautiful is this carbon decor and in the middle you can see this armrest you have a wireless charging for your phone usb-c ports and two cup holders which can be cooled or heated up so this aluminium parts on the side they will uh, heat up or cool down depending which mode you select and you can see also the 
ambient lighting here. Cup holders are adjustable, so they can be adjusted depending on how large is your cup. Here we have the parking assist, 360 cameras, and with park turning, automatic parking, car settings, your favorites. And on this side we have volume, you can you press the button, you will mute, mute the volume. Then we have the navigation and map, media and radio, and the telephone. So these are the shortcuts. If you press radio, you will see the radio. If you press the telephone, then we will go to the phone menu. On the top you can also see the Burmester speaker and controls for the panoramic roof, Mercedes Mi button, SOS button, and here we have the panoramic roof. You can close it or open it fully or just on the ventilation. And you can see the Burmester speakers there, they are also illuminated. So in the middle we have a armrest which has uh, two parts it's quite wide for two arms you can open it and have additional storage space with USB-C port uh, as well so lots of space you can put here uh, many many stuff illuminated here as well and this is like a metal material design on the top the headliner is from the suede leather and here you have the instructions how to run in the AMG engine so here you have the start button, auto start stop, and you can see this is also in the leather, you can see stitching here, and also on this part, automatic lights, and you can dim the display brightness with this wheel, you have a rear fog lights here, and controls for your windows, for the mirrors, and some storage space which is uh, quite large, you can put here many many stuff and you can, you can open also the boot with this button seat belt here is adjustable and you can see there also ambient light in the Burmester speaker which is changing lights and microphone for your calls so it's easier to call and to hear you so really, really nice. In the MBRX system, I can also show you navigation. As you can see, it's really responsive. So really good uh, system. You can have it on North, or you can have it on 3D, which will show you like uh, buildings. So for example, if you go here into the city center, you can see here and the buildings. So for example, this is the castle here in uh, Bratislava and you can turn it like this then we have radio media from your phone uh, comfort, so in comfort we have ambient lighting then we have the seat comfort, so in seat comfort you can have seat kinetics which is like a simulating of the massage lumbar support salt booster, seat heating balance and here you can see a true massage, so hot relaxing back, hot relaxing shoulder, activating massage, and you have uh, many options for the massage. And then Jazzy Comfort combines uh, everything, so it combines ambient lighting with massage and uh, other stuff. Here you can see we have diffuser for the perfume, so you can diffuse uh, different perfumes uh, to the interior, so it uh, smells nice the glove compartment is uh, quite large you can put uh, many many stuff here so this car is really really practical you can lock it also with the lock here also in the center console you have manual settings for the transmission you can turn the traction control off you can set a car with adjustable suspension to different height you have also button for suspension and the exhaust button so this button has uh, two modes, balanced and power. Balance is off and powerful is on. And you can also here change the suspension. So it can go from uh, sport, sport plus comfort. So you can have a race mode with the comfort suspension. So that's really a good way as well. 
So really, really nice uh, interior, I really like this. AMG logo here. The airbag and the horn is also wrapped in the leather with stitching. And uh, very, very nice uh, wheel. We have these pedals, which have a good, good sound. Up and down, and this is toggle for the transmission. So, drive, reverse, and park. If you press this button, you have park. And this is for the windshield wipers, this toggle. So here you can set the D-Stronic, which is adjustable, and D-Stronic Plus for the steering. So we have soft close here also at the rear. And here you can see how the front looks from the rear. So you have a better perspective here. And it looks really, really exclusive in this car. Ambient lighting is present also at the rear and in the feet area as well. So here in the rear we have a two cup holders and this is an armrest which you can extend. So this is five seat configuration with two full seats and in the middle we have a one smaller seat but it is doable for shorter trips, no issue with this. And you can see these beautiful ambient lights here as well. So a lot of space, the pink with the blue. And for my knees I have a lot of space here. So this is uh, absolutely wonderful. You have also ambient light here. And the lower part where are the feet. And we have a net here as well. So really, really nice. Went here. And hook for your jacket. One more here. Burmester speaker illuminated. This is just uh, something incredible. So here we have the AC unit with the displays. As you can see now, is in the rest variant where you can set temperatures here and how the air should be distributed. And here you can see the panoramic roof. All right, guys. So above my head, I have like a, I would say this much space. So as you can see above my head, I have, I would say, 2 inches, like 6 centimeters of space. So even me, I 187 centimeters and 6, or, or 6 feet and 2 inches. And I have a lot of space here, as you can see, even for my arm. And it's really, really spacious. And usually people buy these cars to transport their kids in the rear. So it would be plenty of space, and even for adults. So the GLE Coupe is uh, shorter 6 cm or about 2 inches than the Geely SUV but despite that you still have a lot of space and Geely SUV you have even more space so really great design and a lot of practicality here with the Geely Coupe so press the badge and the car will open you can also swing your foot under the bumper and it will open as well so here we can see that the Coupe has huge boot with a size of 655 liters or 1790 liters with folded rear seats and the SUV has even larger boot with 825 liters or 2055 liters with the rear seats folded down so let me know what do you prefer I think this is a quite large boot for many people we have also automatic tow which can extend itself we have also trailer assist to help you with maneuvering the trailer and we can fold it back as well so it's fully automatic all right guys that's it for this video let me know what you think about this amg model and which is your favorite spec and paint for this particular car and how would you spec your gle 63s coupe stay safe have a wonderful day and i will see you soon in the next video